Megan Hawkins are wrapping up the first round match. Mercer punished Lipscomb 82 to 48, and after Lipscomb shot 50% in the first half, coach, just seven of 32 in the second half, Mercer put the squeeze on like a boa constrictor. No, their defense was outstanding. They just keep running people on the floor, fresh legs out there, putting pressure on you, not giving up any second shots, and going down the other end, knocking down threes. This was a very decisive victory by the Mercer Bears. Well, at least for 20 minutes, Deontay Alexander was able to keep Lipscomb in it, and there's one of the early threes from Alexander. Oh, he can, he can step into a three. He can jab step you into a three. He can come off a dribble handoff, as you're going to see right here for the three. He can do a lot of things. Good job by Deontay Alexander. He hit four three-pointers on the night, and here is one of Mercer's 20 assists. They shared the basketball throughout the night. Yeah, Darius Moten is an outstanding leaper, by the way. There you see Langston Hall knocking it down from the outside. Something that he can do and probably should do more. Bud Thomas, one of the most unselfish players, passing off to Travis Smith for a pass. And we'll take a look at the bracket here in the Atlantic Sun tournament at Mercer, where Mercer knocked off Lipscomb tonight. And they'll face the winner of Jacksonville USC Upstate. That is the nightcap tomorrow. I'm sorry, the early game tomorrow. The nightcap is Stetson and ETSU. Florida Gulf Coast was able to eliminate North Florida earlier today. So a couple of good ball games tomorrow. Four dangerous teams still alive, and Mercer and Florida Gulf Coast await them in the semifinals. Can't wait.